let's solve this math olympiad question welcome back to my channel i'm going to give you three ways three ways you can solve this and still get the same answer now the last method is going to be the easiest using a formula it's going to be the easiest i would like you to watch to the end and see how we use that particular formula instead of going through the stress of solving this okay first of all we are asked to find the sum of 1 over 3 plus 1 over 3 squared plus 1 over 3 cubed plus 1 over 3 to the power of 4 and it continues like that now first of all the first thing we need to do is let's call this x so it means that x is equal to 1 over 3 plus 1 over 3 squared plus 1 over 3 to the power of 3 plus 1 over 3 to the power of 4 plus it continues like that now if we decide to multiply through multiply both sides by 1 over 3 if we multiply both sides by 1 over 3 so we are going to have x times 1 over 3 right so we have 1 over 3x is equal to 1 over 3 times 1 over 3 we have this 1 over 3 times 1 over 3 1 times 1 is 1 3 times 3 is 9 which is same thing as 3 squared so we are going to have 1 over 3 squared and it will continue to increase by 1 power of 3 so 1 over 3 to the power of 3 plus 1 over 3 to the power of 4 plus 1 over 3 to the power of 5 plus it will continue like that all right now if this is the first time you are seeing this channel please subscribe to the channel turn on your notification bell so that you don't miss our lovely videos we upload as often as possible tune in at your convenience there must be something new for you to watch and give us a thumbs up if you love what we are doing if you don't please tell us on the comments what you think we should do to get better okay thank you very much now at this point let us call this equation one and then call this equation two so if we say equation one minus equation two we will have x minus one over three x x minus one over three x is equal to now we are going to have here 1 over 3 this minus this this we go this minus this this we go this minus this this we go so we are left with what 1 over 3 so it's equal to 1 over 3 all right okay so now we have let us solve this this same thing as x over 1 minus x over 3 is equal to 1 over three all right so the lcm here is three we want device three we have three three times x is three x minus when three divides three we have one one times x is x is equal to one over three so three x minus x is two x all over three is equal to one over three so if we cross multiply we will have 2x times 3 is equal to 3 times 1 which is 3 so if we divide divide both sides by 3 oh i'm going back to where i started from sorry so we now have 3 times 2x is 6x is equal to 3 so we divide both sides by 6 and we have x is equal to 1 over 2 so that is the answer to that using the first method now let's check the second method the second method is similar to the first except that for you to multiply by 1 over 3 you can actually decide to multiply by 3 so we said let x be equal to 1 over 3 plus 1 over 3 squared plus 1 over 3 to the power of 3 plus 1 over 3 to the power of 4 
plus whatever. So if we decide to multiply both sides by 3, we have 3x is equal to, so you now have 1 over 3 times 3. This will remove this and we are left with what? 1 plus, then 1 over 3 squared times 3, we'll be left with, um, 3 we divide this, we are left with only 1, 3. So we're left with 1 over 3. So we have 1 plus 1 over 3. Plus, and it will continue like that, 1 over 3 squared plus 1 over 3 to the power of 3 plus. It continues like that. Now, if you look closely, you will see that from here to here, continuously, we will be equal to x. From here to here, we will be equal to x. Therefore, we can write 3x is equal to 1 plus x. Okay. Now let's transfer this to this side. So we have 3x minus x. Sorry, the video tripped off at this point. I didn't know. I continued solving to the end. Only for me to check the video and notice that at this point, the whole thing cut off. Ah, it's normal for me. I'm used to that. I'll just try to get a phone that has bigger space because I'm having space issue right now. Nevertheless, let's continue from here. So, um, this plus x, we cross become minus x. This is where I start, is equal to one. Now, three x minus x, we give us two x, is equal to one. So if we divide both sides by two, you will see that we still have x equals one over two, which is exactly what we got using the first method. All right, now, to the most interesting aspect, we are going to solve this as mathematicians that we are, or as lovers of mathematics that we are, yes, using a formula. Remember that, take note that this is a geometric progression. Yes, what is a geometric progression? A geometric progression is a sequence that is achieved by multiplying a previous number by a constant. Okay, when you multiply a number by a constant, you get the next number. This is what I meant. This is a geometric progression. 2, um, 4, 8, 16, 32, and this continues. Why is this a GP? This is a GP is because the first term, which we call A, is the basic. Okay, now to get the second term, we multiply it two by a common ratio which is two so two times two is four this common ratio must not be two it can be three but let's use two for an example so the common ratio is two two times two is four four times two is eight eight times two is sixteen sixteen times two is thirty two so the common ratio here is two we use two to multiply the previous number to get the next one now that is it about geometric progression. I can decide to form another using 3 as my common ratio. So it will now be 2 times 3 is 6, 6 times 3 is 18, 18 times 3 we get the next and it continues. Now if you look at this, you will notice that to get the second term, we multiply the first term 1 over 3 by 1 over 3. So we got 1 over 3 squared, which happens to be the second term. Now to get the third term, we multiply the second term by 1 over 3 as well, which will give us 1 over 3 to the power of 3. So this 1 over 3 is our common ratio. Now using this formula, the sum of infinite geometric progression the sum of infinite geometric progression, because this is infinite, you can see it's continuous, is equal to A divided by 1 minus R. And the magnitude of R must be less than 1 for you to make use of this particular formula. All right. Now, remember that our S then will be equal to our A, which is the first term, is 1 over 3 divided by 1 minus, and our common ratio is also 1 over 3. So, 
if we solve further, we have S is equal to 1 over 3 divided by, so 1 is the same thing as 1 over 1 minus 1 over 3. So S is 1 over 3 divided by, the LCM is what? 3. When 1 divides 3, we have 3. 3 times 1 is 3 minus when 3 divides 3, we have 1. 1 times 1 is 1. So, what we have is S is equal to 1 over 3 divided by 3 minus 1. Oh, there's division sign here. 3 minus 1 is 2. So, we have 2 over 3. So, S is equal to 1 over 3 times. If we change this division to multiplication, then we get to 3 over 2. We take the inverse of the denominator. So we have 3 over 2. Now 3, we divide 3 and we left with S is equal to 1 over 2. Just like we got using the other methods. I appreciate you. Thank you for coming. Thank you for watching my video. I'll see you in my next video.